Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BE with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. What's up, what's up? My codes, because we committing SBRs, sportsbook robbery. So I'm gonna call you all my codes. All right, all right. We got the next game. Next source paces game one, seven thirty Monday. Uh, starting off with OB topping nine and a half points over. Got it at one twenty two on DraftKings. Um. It's gone over this the last four games. Last game he had 21. It's a new series, new time, uh, new state. <laughs> I just figure he's an ex Knicks player, so there's a little bit of a um, revenge. I'm not going to say revenge like he's mad, but I really don't know. But he's definitely going to try to show out, and he's been doing well as it is. So that's why I chose it. Uh, got a lot of picks for today, so I'm just going to jump right into it. It's uh, topping over nine and a half. Plenty of minutes. You've seen what he did last game. We won two days in a row. I'm going to keep it going. DraftKings. Um, went over at the last two games. They had uh, a couple days off. It's going to be well rested. Coming out shooting. He's going to have his legs under him, so it's not going to be falling short. Uh, Paces are a team that runs, so I believe some of these threes are going to be pull up threes, running down the court and just popping them. Uh, you can play his points if you want. He gets up tons of shots, and he's probably going to go over his points. I just figured two and a half threes. I liked it. All right, we got Brunson, two and a half threes. He's been shooting pretty good. Uh, 40%. Hate attempts last game, 11. The game before, he's averaging around eight attempts. But, uh, yeah, Brunson, two and a half threes. Play number three, going with McBride, Deuce. Over one and a half threes. He didn't play very much last game. Steven Chenzel played almost the whole game. He was doing really well. Um, I believe they got his points at, like, nine, like they usually do. I know he's going to come in because, like I said, Paces is going to be a theme. Paces is a fast-paced team running back and forth. So to get DiMincenzo a break or McBride, uh, Brunson a break, they're going to throw McBride in. And uh, he, he throws up a couple of threes a day. So like four, seven. He just missed. He had, he had an off day last game. But uh, he's going to go over one and a half. I felt more comfortable taking threes than his points. Might not be in that long to get those points. But uh, he's going to hit his threes. Like I said before, arrested. Uh, he's a good shot. And uh, he definitely worked on it this year. And um, had that bad game. He didn't really even have a bad game. He missed a couple of shots. And then... Um, DiVincenzo was just doing so well that they kept him in. But they're going to need him to cover these guys' breaks. All right, I got McBride, minus 125, DraftKings, over one and a half threes. Over 15 and a half points, minus 125 on DraftKings. They got it up to 140 on FanDuel, so make sure you shop around. Um, he's been over this last four games. He put up 17 shots last game, uh, averaging 50% field goals, 45% for three, about 38 minutes, and uh, 
little fouls, two fouls a game. So he's playing a lot too. They're going to need him out there. Uh, Bing Cash with him. I'm going to stay riding. OG Ananobi over two and a half, uh, 15 and a half points. I liked his. He got blocks and steals, one and a half. It was one and a half, but uh, like I said, I got a lot of plays, so sticking with his points. Over two and a half assists. It's minus 130 on DraftKings. Um, he had seven last game, but head to head with the Pacers this year, he's he's uh, 65%. 67%. Got four last game, three the game before. Last 20 games alone, he's 55%. Last 10, 60%. He's been going over this. I figure uh, Pace is going to be running, which means sometimes the Knicks are going to be running a couple outlet passes, or uh, Pace has got a couple big men, so they might try to close him out when he's shooting a three and he'll have to swing it. But uh, two and a half assists. They got his rebounds at I think three and a half, three, and he's been getting he's been averaging four. So that's a play you could take. But uh, I got a lot of plays today, as well as his points. I believe he's going to go over his points, but they got it at fifteen and a half right now. To get it down a little bit, they juiced it up to like one fifty for fourteen. It's a little too much. Uh. I figure I'm going to wait to see if they drop in the live bet. But yeah, I got DiVincenzo over two and a half assists. The 10 o'clock game, Minnesota versus Denver. I got Conley, Mike Conley, over eight and a half rebounds and assists, minus 130. They got it all the way up to 150 on FanDuel. He's gone over this the last three games. He's been getting this. He's almost been going over this and just assists alone. Last game, he did go over it and assist. So uh, 80% in the last five. Head-to-head, -head, 60%. So, yeah, I just, you know, he like I said, he almost went over and just assists. So I had a couple rebounds. Last couple of games, he's been getting four and three. So, uh Rebounds, that is. Four, 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 four. The last four games, he's gotten four. So he should be able to go over this easily. Uh, and it went down. It was started at nine and a half. It's down to eight and a half. So definitely jump on it. Uh, got Mike Conley. Rebounds and assists over eight and a half. All right, before I get into the next play, if you could take this time to like the video if you haven't already, uh, please subscribe if you haven't. Uh, appreciate everyone who has, as well as turn your notifications on. I drop a lot of plays in the community uh, during games, right before games, and uh, do very well with it. Um, this way you can get it as soon as I drop it. Sometimes I'll drop it and, you know, you only got a minute or two, a couple minutes to change it uh, to get it in. So, yeah, just trying to grow this community, trying to get them subs up. I'm almost at 100. Uh, yeah, 100, 100. Zero, zero. only been doing this a couple weeks, but I feel like that's pretty good. So, uh, you know, I'm trying. God willing, we'll get there. I appreciate everybody. So I got uh, Michael Porter Jr. over 17 and a half points, minus 130 on DraftKings. As we know, he's been on a on a roll. Gets in the playoffs, turns it up. Uh, he had me sweating last game. I'm sure you guys were too. We had him at 17 and a half. He had 17. Didn't score the whole fourth quarter, and with like a minute left, he hit a nice three. Put him at 20. But uh, he's went over this last six games. He's exceeded 17.5 points in uh, six straight games, averaging 20, almost 21. So, uh, yeah, I bought it back to 17.5 and got it at minus 130 in the books. They got it at 18.5 for plus money. 
if you want to go for the plus money, go ahead. Anytime I can buy a number back or line it, I do. As long as the juice ain't too high. My unit size isn't that big. If you're betting, you know, $100 or more, I'd buy it back even more. But uh, it increases your odds to hit. But uh, yeah, Michael Porter Jr. over 17 and a half points. Oh, I also got him. Let me jump right into it. I got him. Uh, excuse me, sorry. Steals and blocks. They got it at uh, one and a half steals and blocks, minus 135. On DraftKings, last game he's gotten four. Three steals, one block. Game before that, two steals. Uh, head to head, he's 50%. You know, but uh, he was out there diving. He dove for loose balls. Uh, he's been playing really well, real active. He's tall. He's got long arms, a couple tips, you know, one and a half steals and blocks. I'll go for it. It's They lost the first game, so they're going to be coming, trying, I mean, putting in effort. So, yeah, I got him on his points, and I got him over one and a half steals and blocks. I went with Reggie Jackson, uh, steals and blocks over a half at plus 142. Played really good last game. He had one steal, won the game before. Head-to-head, uh, -head, give a little more depth into versus Denver. Out of uh, four or five, six games, he missed this once. Some games he had multiple. Even the multiple games, he didn't have big minutes. Played just as many minutes as he did the other game. So uh, for this plus, almost plus 150, I figure I'd give it a shot. As well as I really wanted to play his rebounds. And uh, they only have it on BetMGM, and I tried to get in my account. And uh, it has my old phone number, so when I try it, it won't let me log in. I got to email them tomorrow. But they got his rebounds at one and a half, and he's gone over this. Excuse me, sorry. So if uh, I'm going to try to place this tomorrow, but I'm not putting it on here. Uh, if you can get into BetMGM... I would definitely play this over one and a half rebounds for plus 174. Uh, I'm going to try, try to definitely get into my account tomorrow and place this. It's 2 o'clock in the morning, Sunday morning, Monday. So I got to get this video done. But uh, yeah, so they got that as well as uh, his points and rebounds. That's the other one. That's also on Ben MGM. Really good play. These are like my two favorite plays. Hopefully he plays, but uh, come on. It's not loading, but they got his points and rebounds at five and a half. So uh, if you got Ben MGM, I would play that too. I'll drop these two in my uh, community tomorrow. But yeah, so. Uh, Another good day, a good couple of days. Let's have a good one tomorrow. Rangers won today. Hopefully, Knicks carry on and win. All right, here we go. Points and rebounds. They got him at five and a half. He's at eight, 11, 16. This was our head to head. Last couple of games, he's gone over this. Eight and 10. He's almost going over this alone in points. So, like I said, if you got Bet MGM or or you can get ESPN Bet, they don't have ESPN in my area in New York. But uh, I'm gonna place these tomorrow. So yeah, Ace Money the name getting paid for the game. <laughs>